Welcome to Final Color Training. I'm Kevin Shaw. In this video I'm going to explain the shocking truth about parallel nodes. Let's create a new serial node and for demonstration purposes set the saturation to zero. Now anything after node 2 is black and white. So I could use a parallel node to bring back some of the natural color from node 1. A parallel node is convenient because the image remains unchanged. I've seen it described as a mix between node 2 and node 4. But that's not actually true. Yes, that would explain why the image looks the same, as I have a correction in node 2 and no correction on node 4. And yes, it would explain why the saturation in node 4 is limited to the normal saturation with no increase over the saturation in node 1. But we have to ask how does the software achieve this mix? To clearly illustrate the answer to that question, I'm now going to set the saturation in node 4 to 0. Surprise! What we see is negative saturation, minus 100% saturation in fact. This little experiment shows that when node 4 says there is no color correction, it really has the color correction from node 2 already applied as a base, which can limit or worse muddy any color correction that we do there. So what if I want the convenience of a parallel node but the clarity and efficiency of a layer node? Here's how to do that. Starting from my black and white demonstration node, node 2, if I use a layer node it seems like the grade has disappeared but of course it's just masked by layer 4 which really does have no color correction this time. I'm option dragging from node 2 to node 4 and now it looks like a parallel node, but it behaves like a normal color corrector node. You can see that my saturation stops at zero, as it should, and I can increase to plus 100% saturation. That proves that the layer node is cleaner and more effective than the parallel node. But does that mean there's no good reason to use a parallel node? Not at all. There are situations where the parallel node is super useful. Let's go back to node 2 and create a different look. Let's say a bit of golden now. Now my client decides that the look is not strong enough. Wouldn't it be nice if I could simply turn the grade up to 11 or even better 200%? Well, we can do exactly that with a parallel node. Here's my look grade. Here's my parallel node. And this time if I option drag node 2 to node 4, it's now applying 200% of the color correction that I had in node 2. That's especially cool if you've created the look from a custom curve or perhaps you're using a LUT because the incoming node remains the same. Of course I've not used any shapes or keys which is normally what we do with a parallel or layer node. If we are using a parallel or layer node so that we can key from the previous node, node 1 in this case, that again is convenient, but not the most efficient. The problem is that if we do any color changes before the key, it will potentially break the key. The honest truth is that the best place to key is the source image. Resolve can easily key from the source, we just have to add an extra node. My preference is to add two nodes so that we can use noise reduction or even blur before the key. There are a few noise and cleanup tools in the Resolve key but we can be much more elaborate in a pre-key node. And of course we can use the same settings for many keys. So here is my pre-key with some noise reduction. Here's my key node. And I can have as many of those as I want. And now I can simply connect the key to my layer node. Now I have the golden hour look from node 2 and a clean blue sky in node 4. I can use the node key, key input or key output to mix between the two grades, and I'm not color correcting a color correction, which is what the parallel node actually does. If you do want to make changes to both nodes 2 and 4, add a node after. It's doing the same thing and it keeps the grade clean and simple. Three things come out of this. Only use parallel nodes to boost the grade. Use layer nodes for everything else. Keep your keys in separate nodes so none of the grading will break them later. Happy coloring! Don't forget to check my classes. See you next time.